Radical substitution reactions are not like any other mechanisms we study at A-level because they don't involve movement of electron pairs, so we don't use curly arrows. Instead, we write equations to show what's happening in each step. In this example, we're reacting methane with bromine to make bromomethane, so we'll start by writing the overall balanced equation for the reaction. The mechanism happens in three stages. The first is the initiation step, in which ultraviolet light, for example in sunlight, breaks the bond between the two bromine atoms. This is homolytic fission. Each bromine atom gets one of the bonding pair of electrons and becomes a radical with an unpaired electron. The propagation stage consists of two steps. Radicals are very reactive. In the first step, a bromine radical will attack a methane molecule, removing one of the hydrogens to form hydrogen bromide. What's left is an alkyl radical, in this case a methyl radical. In the second step, the reactive methyl radical attacks a bromine molecule, becoming bonded to one of the bromine atoms and regenerating a bromine radical. The bromine radical is therefore acting as a catalyst, allowing these two steps to keep on repeating in a chain reaction while there are still reactant molecules to attack. Eventually two radicals will collide with each other in a termination step. Any two radicals can collide and form a molecule, so one of the possible combinations would be two bromine radicals combining to form a bromine molecule, while another combination would be two methyl radicals combining to form ethane. We should also be aware that it's possible in the propagation steps for bromine radicals to react further with the bromomethane product, so we can get dibromomethane formed, for example.